the fish tank guy store here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yesterday we adopted three nice size radiator slider turtles. Um, that is one right there. That's about eight inches big, I think, just about. This is another one right here. Oh, you came for the camera. This one, there was two males and one female. And then this one back here, which has a strange shell. Look at that shell. That's one of the bigger ones. Oh, that might be the biggest one that came in. Well, that's one that came in in the adoption. This is the other one. And there is one more slightly smaller hiding back here, camera shot. That one right there. That's a male as well. So yep, three turtle adoptions yesterday here at the fish tank guy store. They're already in my tank with my um my other two adoptions that I've had for a few months now. This one right here, I've had this one for a few months. I call her Crazy B. <laughs> Crazy Biatch. She's always trying to bite my finger because the previous owner was feeding her hot dogs all the time. So I guess she thinks my finger is a hot dog. And there is a, a baby in here somewhere. Here she go. Look at that baby. Look at her trying to eat that big pellet, turtle pellet. But that's my baby. I don't know what it is yet, a male or a female. I call her Shelly, but I guess Shelly could be a universal name for turtle. Uh, actually, Shelly is the most common turtle name, so I've been told. So, But I wonder, I guess Shelly could be a universal name for male or female turtle. Although it sounds more like a female name for turtles. But yes, here they go. This is my 60 gallon, four feet long, two feet wide turtle adoption tank. Um, it has two Tetra 40i filters, one on each end. So the filters are good for up to a 40 gallon each. And then it has this Tetra filter in the middle with the basket area. Yes, I know that basket area is nowhere near big enough for the bigger turtles, but that'll change in time. But anyways, this basket area has a filter built into it, and this filter is good for a 20 gallon tank. So do your math, I have 100 gallons worth of filtration on a 60 gallon tank that's halfway filled. So 100 gallons worth of filtration on 30 gallons of water. And look at my water. So far anyways, crystal clear. Check out this cool turtle decoration I got about a week ago, if you can see that. I'm gonna take it out the water in a second. We can see it better. Look at this. It's a turtle. A glass turtle. I got this with a, a tank buyout about a week ago, so I decided to keep it as one of my toys. So, in there, people wanna buy it already. Look how cute that looks. But I don't wanna sell it, it's just one of my toys here at the fish tank guide store so yeah if you have any turtles that you can no longer care for this adoption came in because they had them in a small tank and I don't know how small but it was small I'm thinking like a 20 gallon and they really needed to upgrade to a much bigger tank and I explained to them that at minimum I would have recommended a 55 gallon but um, I think they didn't have, I think it was they didn't have the space for it or they didn't want to spend, maybe they didn't want to spend that much money for a nice size 55 gallon. For instance, I have this 55 gallon set up right here. 200 bucks for everything. The stand, the tank, brand new 40 gallon filter in the box, same exact filter that I use on my tanks. Extra large turtle dock, custom painted background. All this for $200. And 
and they considered it, and then they considered just a tank only, and the only large tank only, or well, the largest tank only I had available, I have available at the moment, was a 29 gallon, 30 inches long. Um, but, you know, I did offer them the option, hey, if, you know, if, if you no longer want to keep your turtles or take care for them, I mean, I would gladly adopt them and find them a forever new happy home. You know, I, I do question people a lot when they want to buy turtles off me that are adoptions of, you know, what size tank to have, filtration and so on and so on. So, I mean, and you know, many a times I, I tell people I don't want to sell them a turtle because they have a little 10 gallon tank and I feel you know, that turtle's way too big. It's just going to be uncomfortable in that tank. And, you know, a lot of stores, they don't care. They just sell you anything and, you know, but I, I do care and, and I'm really concerned that these turtles, you know, go to a new happy forever home and nice comfortable size tank and filtration and heated water and basking area and heat lamp and you know the whole kit caboodle so the turtles are living comfortably and happy so so yeah they um you know boyfriend and girlfriend or I guess husband and wife um they decided to donate them to the fish tank guy store and, and now they're part of my pets here in the store and eventually hopefully find them a Forever in you happy home and until then they'll be living large <laughs> living comfortably here in this tank at the fish tank guys store eating well you know I like to feed them well that's the stuff that's I love I love feeding them that blooper buffet blend and this turtle food I got with crazy bee because um her owner bought her that food which you know nice big and then they donated the food as well Mm, this shouldn't be here. My Petra flake food for my regular fish. I just sat there, to, sat that there a second. But um, yeah, interesting enough. Yesterday, um, four young teenagers. I, I usually don't let teenagers in without parents, but the oldest one was 17, and so I let them in, and they just happened to have six turtles living in a bathtub because their tank broke and um i think the biggest turtle they have might have been close to six inches and the smaller ones were pretty young like baby turtles almost maybe a little bigger and they wanted to buy a tank and i you know they they were like really budgety like literally had no money so to speak and um you know they was willing to buy a 10 gallon tank and i told them yo i mean you know, if you were to put those baby turtles on a 10-gallon tank, that might be okay for now. But, you know, they were definitely talking about, you know, they, they were in the bathtub. They had to move these tanks out, you know, and so on. And I, I said, get some more money, you know, because a 10-gallon tank is just way too little. I told them, look, the, the smallest I would recommend is a 29-gallon tank. That was 40 bucks. You know, that was kind of like out of their price range or whatever and so on. So, oh, well. I, I, I definitely told them, if you want to get rid of them, I can gladly adopt them. And as you can see, they're going to be living large in my turtle adoption tank. And, you know, they couldn't fathom that idea. Oh, heck no, we're not giving up our turtles. And <laughs> I understand, but I'm like, hey, I mean, at worst, you know, push comes to shove, so to speak. Just keep in mind. We'll see. Or, you know, just buy a bigger tank. I, I definitely showed them the ideal 55-gallon complete setup for 200 bucks but you know again those that was kind of like out of their price range so we'll see you know a lot of times people act like you know they don't have money or they can't afford it that's you know a way to try to get you to lower your price but i mean the price is a great price and i tell people look if you can't give them a, you know if you can't give your pets a nice size home then maybe you shouldn't have that kind of pet you know Seriously, you know, I, I tell people all the time, a big dog in a little yard, come on. If you're not taking that dog constantly to the park and letting it run around, that's, I don't know, borderline cruelty to animals maybe? I don't know. But yeah, funny enough, I was never ever into turtles. My thing is fish. That is my hobby, fish. And I remember a quick story for you on, you know, 10 years ago when I got into this buying and selling business hobby business whatever and so on one of my first tanks that i picked up a 55 gallon 
and it was such a great price. I found it on Craigslist. Great deal, great price. And I skadoodled real quick over there to go pick it up. And when I get there, I see two radiator sliders inside the tank. And it was a complete setup. Tank stand, filter, and whatever other accessories were included at the time. I don't remember. And um, and I get there and I, you know, I look at the lady and I say, well, I, I assume, you know, as I said, I assume, oh, I guess you're getting a bigger tank for the turtles, you know. And she was like, oh, no, the, the turtles go with the tank. That's how they add red. And I'm like, oh, boy, and I missed that. Like, I read the ad so quick I missed the part. You know, of course, when I got home, I reread the ad to double check. And sure enough, it said it. You must take the turtles. And, um, you know, I've I never really been a, a turtle enthusiast, so to speak. It's not my choice of pet, so to speak. But um, that's how I started getting to know turtles. And I took them and eventually sold them and I you know I googled them and did research and and have learned a lot a whole lot about turtles over the years predominantly you know radio sliders which is the most common turtle that I like adopting so yeah now I know a lot about turtles and I be educating people how to sex them and this that whatever how to tell the male from female on the turtles and so on and so yeah I guess I've become somewhat of a turtle expert so to speak but You know, you have any turtles you don't want? Like I said, let me know. The fish tank guy, I'll gladly adopt them, take them off your hands, and find them a forever new happy home. Look at them. Swimming around, a lot of space. A lot more space than they had before. This is my fake snapping turtle. I got that with a tank a few years ago. One of my... One of my toys, people always ask, what kind of turtle was that with that long tail? And I just look at them like, uh, it's not moving. That is a toy, a plastic snapping turtle. So anyways, every now and then the baby gets on top of that, on top of his shell. Um, yup. Let's see, is that crazy bee? This is crazy. This is crazy bee right here. I've had her... I adopted her this past summer. She came in with two other ones and they eventually sold. But that is Crazy B right there. Look at that. Look, look, look. Trying to bite the finger. You saw that? Look. Yeah, bite it. Yep, see that? And it's amazing because when she was in a 55 and she would hit the glass trying to bite my finger, you could hear that plop like that. You know, like a nice knock, like, oh, imagining if she were to actually get that finger, bite that finger, how much that would hurt. I've never been bitten by a turtle. I've heard enough horror stories. I don't ever want to get bitten by a turtle. You know, I'll take your word for it. He's following me. He's still hungry? Look at that. Look at that. But I gave her a hot dog a few months back, and she was pretty calm for ah, look at the baby on top of the show I love when she does that I love when she does that getting a free ride look at her, look at her. I don't want to spook her off look at that I love when I see the baby that's like her adopted mom right there <laughs> getting a free ride look at Shelly getting a free ride oh, I love sharing this with you guys you know we all learn the fish hobby, the turtle hobby, that's how we learn. Watching YouTube videos and sharing stuff like this. If you guys have any comments, any questions, always feel free to post them. You know, I try to answer all my questions as quick as I see them. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell alert to get alerts when I post other interesting videos of turtles, of fish, of cool fish tanks for sale here at the fish tank guy store in philadelphia pennsylvania thanks for watching go eagles <laughs> what about the eagles playing later on today i'll be at the at my favorite drinking hole so to speak cheering them on look at them
Good job. Hey, Shelly. 